Welcome to Stuff Lab. I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And it's facts. It's fact day. It's facts. I'm also sweaty today. Welcome to Sweat Lab. <laughs> it's facts. Do you know what we're doing? Animal. It is an animal. One of these days you gotta hit me with a cryptid. Um, uh, probably closer to cryptid season. Yeah. Ooh, you have a season? Halloween. Ooh, awesome. What's, um, uh, what's your guess? <sighs> Cheetah. No. Uh, we've done leopards. Uh, uh, the orcas. Nope. Dolphins? Nope. Uh, any fish? No. Mm, land mammal? No. Black rhino! Oh, okay. So the answer is yes. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so we're just, just hitting it with a spectrum now. <laughs> I, I try... That gorilla one's never going to happen again. <laughs> no. I try and zazz it up and keep you guessing what we're doing. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So we are discussing the black rhino. Okay. Black rhino, white rhino, very similar. Black rhinos have a prehensile front lip. Okay. Because they're not grazers, they're browsers. Like, uh, browsers? <laughs> yeah, they, they browse for food. Oh. Um, they don't eat grass off the ground. They eat like sticks, twigs, leaves, berries, fruits, stuff like that. Okay. They compete with elephants for food. Oh, okay. So they use their lip, as you can see there. They use blowing kisses. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, white rhinos have the squarish face. And they're grass eaters. Yes, okay. they are grass. They are native to Eastern and Southern Africa, including, ready? <laughs> Angola, Botswana, Kenya, Mal Malawi, I believe, Mozambique, Namibia, South Africa, Atswani, Tanzania, Zambia, and Zimbabwe. It's a lot of places. So there's quite a spread. Yeah. Uh, they aren't really black, as you can see, but mm -hmm. varying colors of brown to gray with very thick skin. They have a hooked front lip as compared to the white rhino, who has a flat front lip. Ready for my favorite part? Breeding? My second favorite part. <laughs> How big they are. Yeah! Okay. Height to shoulder in inches, please. <gasps> in inches? I, uh, uh, I don't do good inches. Uh, okay. seven, uh, 64. 55 to 71 inches at the shoulder. Okay. I got in the middle. Length. Uh, from snooty to booty. Uh, 96 inches. Uh, this is in feet. <laughs> uh, I don't even know what that is in feet. Uh, 10 feet. No, that seems way big. 8 feet. 9.8 to 12.3 oh. feet. <laughs> okay. Oh, God, that's a big horn. It is. Uh, they also have pointier horns than white rhinos. Okay. They are more of the like, like the baby one, how it's kind of like mm -hmm. uh, snubby. Yeah. Like that. Okay. Speaking of horns, let's uh... Oh, wait, wait, what was weight? Well, you didn't guess, but since we're on horns, I'm gonna do horns. Okay. Uh, the two horns are made of keratin. The front horn is typically around 20 inches long. An exceptionally long specimen is 55 inches. Jeez. Yes. <laughs> And depending on where they live and what they eat, it'll leave deposits in their horns. So if a rhino is poached, a sample can be taken, figure which herd it came from from where they're living, and they can go prosecute poachers. Okay, so back to weight. Yes. This is in pounds. I did not convert it to anything crazy. 750 pounds. Uh, no, that seems small for a rhino. They're big, they're beefy. Uh, 1,200 pounds. 1,760 pounds. Okay, so bigger. <laughs> to 3,090 pounds. Oh with exceptionally God. large males reported up to... 5,000 pounds? 6,385 pounds. It's bigger than my cars. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> okay. Females are smaller than the males. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Ah. God, it's way bigger than I thought they would be. Yes. Like in all the sizes. Yes. So, they select food not based on quantity, but quality. Okay. They will specifically search out areas that have a better quality of food for better nutrition versus the quantity it can provide. I think it's really cute that these gigantic animals are picky eaters. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, they follow same paths as elephants. Okay. Uh, they, as I said before, will compete for the same food. So depending on how many elephants are around or how recently they've been through, okay. they'll modify their diet for the best quality for their nutrition. Okay. I, I have a quick horn thing, not to deviate. Mm -hmm. uh, 
do, does their horn ever stop growing? Uh, I don't think so. Okay, because I was thinking because like it was, was... it was so long and like thinnish. Like if do they charge each other when they fight? Yes. So like it breaks. It'll regrow. Okay. Okay. Occasionally, they will grow three horns. Very rare. It'll be like a dinosaur. Very rare. I lost where I was. Sorry. That's fine. So they're not very territorial. They often intersect with other rhinos' territories while looking for food, but they don't clump together in mm. giant herds and mosey about. Mothers and calves are generally the only ones who form a strong bond until it's time for them to move on, or sometimes uh, young adults and sub-adults will group up with really old rhinos and they'll just hang out and keep each other company. Okay. You know. Their, their feet are adorable. They can run up to 34 miles an hour on their tiptoes. So 34 miles an hour. On their tiptoes. A 6,000 pound, just mass of horn and beef <laughs> flying at you. Yes. Ho. Oh. Ho. Oh. Okay. What do you think preys on them? Oh, uh, I'm guessing cats, obviously, the, the, the big cats. Uh, uh humans? I'm, I'm, I don't, well, not really humans for food, I guess. Uh, we'll poaching these? is the highest mortality. Mm -hmm. I can't really say it's the highest mortality rate. There's something else that could be higher. Okay. Uh, I don't really know. Yeah. Adults have no natural predators due to their size, strength, and horns. Humans are the exception to that threat. Occasionally, crocodiles, in extremely exceptional circumstances, have how, taken down an adult. How big of a crocodile would that have to be? I think it was really deep water. Is okay. Probably that scenario. It <laughs> oh didn't specify, but I think that's the only way it would not have enough traction to just beat the snot out of it. <laughs> right. uh, calves and seldomly sub-adults may be preyed upon by lions, but again, very few and far between. Mm -hmm. Gestation? We're in the breeding part now. Uh, they're big, so a year. 15 months. Okay. Guess how much calf weighs when it's born? 600 pounds. Uh, 80 to 110 pounds. Oh, okay. So teeny tiny. Yes. Okay. Uh, they're weaned around two years of age. They do not reach sexual maturity. Females, five to seven years. Males, seven to eight years. Okay. So that's what's making repopulation very difficult. You have to wait so long. When one is born, you basically have to wait half a decade to a decade before it to reach maturity. And even okay. then, they still may not like their suitors. Oh God, okay. Yes. Big problem. Yeah. I did find a bit of lore on okay. this one. Yeah. Superstitious belief is that the horns of the rhino allow direct access to heaven due to their unique location and hollow nature. Like for rhinos? It's like rhinos go to heaven? No, if you have a rhino horn. Well, if you have a rhino horn, you're, you're a bad person. So now we have some, uh, just random fun facts. Okay. That didn't really fit in any of my other things. Okay. They will fight each other, having the highest rates of mortal combat casualties. It really is mortal oh combat. Oh my god. Because about 50% of males and 30% of females die from combat related injuries. Holy crap. Okay. Yes. Well, I mean, when you think about their size and those horns, though, I mean, like that, like one good hit to the side and you're done for. Uh, without poaching, what do you think their lifespan is in the wild? I'm always off with lifespans. Uh, tw uh 20 years? 35 to 50. Okay, that's not too bad. Not too bad. Not fun fact. Oh, okay. The Middle East use rhino horns for ceremonial daggers called jambayas. I'm pretty sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, sorry. Uh, demand for these skyrocketed in the 1970s and caused the black rhino population to, de to decline by how much? Uh, it's I'm a good, percentage. Say like 75%. 96. If there's a place that I can go sign up to just hunt poachers, I'll do it. <laughs> That was between 1970 and 1992. Ridiculous. Leave animals alone. <laughs> so 22 years, 96 Jesus That's Christ. crazy. By 2019, so previous year, mm -hmm. the population was slowly increasing. It is estimated there are 5,500 left. God, okay. Some of these videos make me so mad. <laughs> now that you've learned about the black rhino, what do you think? Uh, I think that we should do more to help conserve cool animals. Well, all animals, I guess. Thank you for joining us today on Stuff Lab, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.